Live from NBC4, this is the Channel 4 News at 5. UCLA tonight is working on a three-dimensional way to see brain aneurysms so they can be cured before they lead to life-threatening hemorrhages. Here with that story tonight is Dr. Bruce Hensel. Despite a small aneurysm in her brain, a weakness in a blood vessel that could cause a life-threatening hemorrhage, Christine Pitcher tries to live her life normally. It's a good idea to keep things um, under control, but I'm not, I don't worry about it too much. Six years ago, doctors plugged the bulging blood vessel with small coils to keep blood out and prevent a rupture. But the coils are starting to slip. Unfortunately, the aneurysm recurred, reappeared. Because 2D images make it difficult to track aneurysms, doctors at UCLA are now using a special computer to view them in 3D. Having 3D, we can detect even subtle change in the shape of the aneurysm. Besides its shape, doctors can see the speed and direction of blood flow. Here it's rushing through the ballooning aneurysm, slamming into its side and recoiling. Once it hits aneurysm wall, which is a weakened portion, it may create further degeneration or further damage to that aneurysm wall, and it may eventually rupture. The information helps us determine how best to treat the aneurysm. In Christine's case, it was a new coil and a stent to keep it in place. I had a stent placed to protect the coils from the blood flow. Doctors will take another 3D look at Christine's artery in about six months. For now, her life is once again pretty normal. Otherwise, she might need a risky brain surgery. The 3D test tells us when we can avoid that or postpone it. UCLA is one of only two centers in the U.S. using this computer software for brain aneurysms. I'm Dr. Bruce Hensel.